Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous sessions we discuss about waterfall, iterative and incremental model with real life examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now in today's session we will discuss about the next important model that is evolutionary process model. Let's start the session. In today's session we will discuss about introduction, when to use evolutionary model, their advantages, disadvantages and types of evolutionary model. Let's see all these points one by one. Now the first thing is what exactly evolutionary process model. Evolutionary process model which is also called as successive version of model. Why? Because it is a combination of iterative and incremental model. We already discussed iterative incremental model in detail in previous session. Here we just take a revision of this model first. Now what exactly iterative model see here in this diagram. Here in first iteration they collect the requirement from the customer. After collecting the requirement they analyze those requirement and after requirement analysis they design code test a complete product. After completing the implementation they review from the customer. If customer want any changes then they again move to second iteration. That is again they design code and test the product. After complete implementation they again take a feedback from the customer. If customer want any changes they again move to next iteration. Again they design code test a complete product. After that they again take a review from customer. If customer want all ok then they deploy the product to the customer. This is a concept of iterative model means they developed a product iteration wise and after completing implementation of product they take a review or feedback from the customer. Ok this is called as iterative model. Now what is incremental model? In incremental model they didn't develop a complete product at the same time. They first gather all the requirements from the customer. And these requirements are now freeze. After collecting this requirement, they divide those requirements into the multiple modules. Here, module by module development is in incremental model. We discuss example of college management system. Suppose customer want college management system. So, after gathering requirement, first they develop attendance module. They design, develop, test the module. Second, they want feedback module, they design, develop, test this module. And third, they want teacher module, they again design, develop, test this module. Means here, every module come from design, development, testing. Means complete software development life cycle. Right? And after completing this complete product, then they take a feedback from the customer. Right? So this is a incremental model. Now, evolutionary process model is a combination of both. How? See next. See here. In evolutionary process model, this is a structure of evolutionary process model. Okay. Here, first software development life cycle start and the first phase is requirement analysis and gathering. Now, they collect requirement from the customer. Okay. Suppose college management system project is there. They collect all the requirements from the customer. Right. Now, they divide those requirement into the multiple modules. So first module is suppose attendance module. They design a attendance module. After that they develop attendance module. That is a first module or first version we say. Right. After developing a first module they deliver this module to the customer. Now customer get a feedback. They take a feedback from the customer. If customer want any changes in attendance module, they again redevelop it or rechange it and after that deliver the final version to the customer. Similarly, after first module, they again move to back here. Okay, again move to back. Now again, as per the requirement, second module is suppose a student feedback module. Then they again design the second module, develop a second module. After that deliver those student feedback model to the customer. They get a customer feedback. If customer want any changes then they redevelop it, rechange it in this particular model and deliver the final version of the model in this way. So what is an evolutionary process model? First they divide all the requirements into the modules. 
second they develop all the particular product module by module okay and after each module they take a feedback this is a extra thing which is not available in iterative and incremental model okay means after every module development they take a feedback from the customer if customer want any changes they redevelop it and deliver the final version so this is called as evolutionary process model see here in this image suppose this is the first a this is the first feature in this model uh, in the project like first module is attendance module after that they deliver to the customer after customer want student feedback module that is b then they deliver complete module to the customer after that customer want third feature that is teacher module then they deliver this module to the customer so this is a incremental approach and this is a iterative approach means every module they take a feedback right so this is called as evolutionary process model and that's why it is called as successive version of model it has a better accuracy as compared to iterative and incremental model clear next now the next is when to use evolutionary process model first evolutionary process model used in large projects because here is a step by step development of particular project the second thing is here customer didn't want a complete product at the same time customer get the product as per their priority as per their usefulness suppose a particular organization priority is attendance module they need attendance module quickly so first develop it second they want customer feed, student feedback module then develop this module in this way means customer want to start using the core features instead of complete full software right next in evolutionary model customer requirements are not fixed because after every module you need to take a customer feedback customer want to changes you need to redevelop it right but the requirement of the customer are clear right next if there are any small changes so that will be easily solved because there is a module by module development and next important thing is here is a object oriented software development because all the development are divided into the different modules right and the important thing is there is a customer interaction is more because after every module development customer feedback is taken right next the next one is advantages of evolutionary model the first advantage it is useful for large projects because it use in large and long ongoing projects it check every stage during the development every module they take a feedback from the customer second thing is user get a chance to experiment with partial develop software right user can't wait for fully version of particular software next if it very easy to reduce the error because you need to solve the error in particular module not a complete project and it also reduce the cost of development see here this is a just a concept and that's why this is the advantages of evolutionary model first initial requirement then construct the model check with user if customer want okay then develop a second module if customer want not okay then they refine the module again construct a module in this way so this is a flow chart of evolutionary process model next now the next thing is disadvantages of evolutionary model here constant and clear interaction between the development team is necessary means there are lot of customer interaction after every module they take a feedback from customer so it take a some lot of time in some what projects right so constant and clear interaction between development team is necessary here the next thing is delivery of full software can be late due to different changes because suppose each and every module customer want changes so delivery of product is being late right next thing is it is very difficult to divide problem into the several parts see some projects will be very complicated right so sometimes it is very difficult to divide the uh, particular product module by module so these are the disadvantages of evolutionary model now the next thing is types of evolutionary model 
there are total three types of evolutionary model like prototyping model spiral model concurrent development model now we discuss all these three model step by step with example in next sessions thank you keep learning